Well, today we've made a long trip to Glen May, and this morning I can hear the birds in the trees and I can smell the garlic. So come with me now while we explore. Now in this climb there is an upper and lower path. So we do the uh, upper path first I think today. The Farsi board took this place over in 1960 and uh, they had the trees valued at 130 pounds I think. And in this little glen there are six different types of ferns. Being in the heathen did realise there was six in the Alaman. And as it says we're going to take the upper path today to start with anyway. Let's see how far we get. These tree roots are vicious. Come Penny. Come out today and Monday because the forecast Next few days, believe it or not, it's rain. Such a change from having rain. And there's the true first sign of spring, eh? Daffodils just about on their way out. Wouldn't that be delightful to see them? Policy bordering hard at work again. They've cleared all the winter damage. We can walk in the springtime. I've never actually uh, been on this path. Been up the waterfall a few times. This must be one of those ferns I was telling you about. I'm going to have to recognise that, I? Put a name to them. It's about 12 acres in size, the Glen. And for you young people, it's about 5 hectares. And for 30 years the admission to the Glen was 3p in old money. It's going to be a delight when these daps come out, isn't it? And old money was we had 240 pence to the pound. My father shaking his head when decimalisation came in saying we're finished, we're doomed. So three pence would be today about not quite two pennies. As I said the Glen, uh, the first world took it over in 1960 and I'll find it a bit of a while until who owned it before they did. Lovely to hear the birds chirping isn't it? Just makes my day. Just see the garlic. You can't smell it, but I can. Is there a problem at home with the cows when milking them? 
was their favourite feast in the early spring was garlic or summertime and they'd run down to the glen and munch on it and they'd come in the her day stinking of garlic which wasn't a problem but of course the real problem was that the milk was tainted and uh, they obviously couldn't sell it been a quite a lot of devastation through the winter time trees down branches fell path's quite good though the thing is when you're coming up the first part just be wary of the tree roots they are very slippery another one of those ferns I was telling you about As I said in this glen there's some trees called the Monterey Pine. I'd like to see if I can find those. Quite distinctive around me. At the top of the head on there there's a huge glade of bluebells when they come out. And some hazelnut trees which actually have fruit so I don't really know about that in the other man. There's some more of those rare ferns. Yes, the Hitchcock uh, film was uh, a book by Hall Kane and uh, Hitchcock came to the and obviously it was his last silent film as I said but him and Hall Kane couldn't agree she did a few scenes on the Isle of Man but most of it was shot in Cornwall apparently which is a shame I've got to thank Kelly for that because she gave me the tip off and watched a bit of the film to find out that we think both of us it's around about the 17 or 18 minutes into the film there's a picture of the old Glen May Bridge This morning is a little bit challenging for the old camera because the sun is very very bright and we're facing into it unfortunately But who am I to actually uh, dispute a sunny day? Eh? By the sign of the river, we must see someone near the waterfall below us. I capture as well today. It's a decent path. Definitely no wheelchairs though. And good walking boots I suggest. I was saying I did put some ask for some information on Facebook and a lot of people gave me little bits which is great really because it all adds to the story doesn't it you can all find how big it is and this that and the other but the stories are what makes it really right. I'm trying not to stagger and fall on her bottom. Right for the penny, she's got four legs. Got a real railing here. Gate. So many of these are lying around the countryside, still in use. This would have been here when the glen was originally formed, I think. finding it very difficult to walk down steps without looping it's been the age of it I 
I was here about 10 years ago with a lot of photographs which I'll stick with this video Decent flow on it today though Well, wow, warm the rocks. You see the spray above me. It must be quite there. The one on the, in the middle of those last rainstorms. 